What's up, everybody? You already know who it is. This is Drip Guy there, and I'm back at you guys with another thing. So, in today's video, we got to talk about the Houston Rockets. Now, if you didn't know, the Houston Rockets have been going on a crazy win streak as of lately. And in this video, I do just want to break down their win streak and also give my thoughts on if they will make it into the play in tournament. Now, with all that being said, I do appreciate all you guys, especially the people who came back to the channel. I know I did take a brief hiatus due to me moving and everything. And I do appreciate all you guys who, you know, just support the channel, hit the thumbs up and share the videos. But without further ado, let's switch over and let's get right into it. All right, so to start off, I do just want to show you guys the current playoff picture. Shout out to NBA.com for making this very easy. So as you guys can see at the very top right here, it does state that the play-in tournament starts on, I don't know if y'all can see that, but the play-in tournament, it starts on um, April 16th through 19th. So. That's the date that we can expect the playoff, the play-in tournament to start. And let's just take a look at where the um, Houston Rockets are ranked currently. So currently they are 11th. So they're not in the play-in tournament just yet. They do need pretty much like two more wins and they can make it into the play-in tournament. So shout out to them. Right above them is the Golden State Warriors. As we can see, they are um, the Houston Rockets are 37 and 35. The Golden State Warriors are 38 and 34. So I do think that they may have potential to, you know, um, make it into the play-in tournament. But another thing I want to do is just go over this right here. As you guys can see, they are actually on a 10-game winning streak. And I want to just go over their winning streak so far just so that we can further examine if it's that they've been just, you know, knocking off trash teams or if there is some, you know, potential in this team. So let's switch over and let's take a look at the standings. And also, like I said before, um, let's take a look at their win streak so far. So. As you guys can see, I have switched over. And right at Portland, it shows where their winning streak started. So right beside the win, over here you can see what the team was ranked. So, you know, back then against Portland, they were 28 and 35. They got that dub. Now, if we switch back over to the standings, we could see if Portland is good, which they're not. They're 19 and 54. Let's continue on to the second one, the second team. Now, this is definitely a good dub right here, Sacramento. They got a dub on Sacramento. Let's take a look at the standings. Sacramento, they are the eighth seed currently, as you guys can see. So, definitely a good dub right there. Right after that, they beat San Antonio. San Antonio, we know that they aren't too good of a team. They are literally the lowest seed in the West. So you could take that with a somewhat of a grain of salt. It's still a dub though, so salute to them. Right after that, they beat Washington. Let's take a look at Washington and see where they are on this list. So Washington, they are the second worst team in the, um, Eastern Conference, so that's something to note. They beat Cleveland. Let's see what Cleveland is looking like, man. Cleveland, that's definitely a good dub. They're the fourth seed in the East, so definitely a good win right there. Um, right below down Washington again. As we know, Washington, they're not too good. Chicago, let's see how that win um, held up. So Chicago, they're the ninth seed. I think that's a decent win. They're, they're the ninth seed. They will be in a play-in tournament for the Eastern Conference. Utah, let's see what Utah working with, man. Let's scroll down. Utah, they are the 12th seed. They're right below the 
Houston Rockets. So, I, I, I guess, I guess, but let's keep it real. Utah, they not too good. Uh, Portland, again. That's, as we know, Portland, they're not a good team. And the most recent win, the Oklahoma City Thunder. And as we know, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they're definitely a good team. They are currently the third seed in the West. So, overall, what do I think about their run so far? So, I think it's a mixture of two things. I think it's a mixture of this team actually getting hot. A lot of the younger players starting to, you know, um, actually learn how to play with each other. You know, um, Coach um, Edoka putting, you know, good plays together and actually and his, you know, just play style and his game plans actually starting to work. The younger guys actually starting to understand his plays, his play style, what he expects on defense, things of that nature. So I think it's that. And also I think it's that they kind of have had a, a slightly weak schedule um, so far for these past 10 games, you know. You see San Antonio on there. You see Washington multiple times. You see Portland multiple times. Utah, not too good. Chicago, they're all right, but not too good. So I think it's pretty much a mixture of just both this young team, you know, really starting to, you know, build together. Them getting on a hot streak. Um, Younger players such as, um, what's his name? What's his name, man? What's his name? Hold on. What's his name? Uh, Jalen Green, you know, he getting hot. So that's definitely something to know. And right here, I do got a little um, article that I do just want to give some food for thought on for the Houston Rockets. So let's take a look at it, man. Let's take a look at it. Houston, we have liftoff. Why Red Hot Rockets have already achieved success with renewed playoff push. So, yeah, man, let's get into it. Me personally, like I was saying before, I think it all starts with the coach, and they definitely got a better coach um, as of right now, man. They definitely got a better coach when it comes to Ime Udoka, and he's definitely been, you know, helping this team just improved drastically when it comes to the playmaking, when it comes to defense especially. And like I was saying before, the younger guys, man, you got uh, Sengun. Sengun has been playing great, man. He's been playing great. He's taking a step up. Jalen Green, he started off kind of slow earlier in the season, but as of now, he's been going crazy. He's literally been going crazy. And in this article, you could see that um, – They have some stats for some of these younger players. Right here, Sengun, it says in this season he's averaging 32.5 minutes per game, 21.1 points per game, 9.3 rebounds per game, and 5 assists per game on 53, 29, and 69 splits. So, overall, great. Uh, Let's continue with uh, Smith. So, Smith, man. Smith been averaging 31.6 minutes per game. 13.3 13.3 points per game, 8.4 rebounds, 1.4 assists, and his splits have all went up this year as well. And, of course, like I was saying, Jalen Green, man. Jalen Green is averaging 29.8 points per game on 51, 46, and 78 shooting splits at the moment. So, hey, within this last 10 games, he's been going crazy. So, hey. With all that being said, to wrap this up, do I think that the um, Houston Rockets can make a playoff push and actually make it into the play-in tournament? Yes, I do. I think that they will pass up the Golden State Warriors. Now, I know a lot of people not going to like that, but that's just my thoughts. Um, shout out to the Houston Rockets. To all the Houston Rockets fans, y'all tell me what y'all think about the video in the comments down below. Hey, y'all already know what to do. Like the video, comment on the video, subscribe to the motherfucking channel, turn on notifications and all that good stuff, and I'm out. Peace.